a meltingly soft and tender meat with a crackling crunchy skin which gives you an absolute pleasure when you're biting onto it. Hi everyone! Welcome back to Ling's Cooking Escapade. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to salt bake crispy roast pork belly or siu yolk in Cantonese. Without further ado, let's get to the preparation, shall we? Firstly, in a small mixing bowl, let's add in the Chinese Five Spice Powder, Ginger Powder, Chicken Powder, Salt and Sugar together. Give everything a good mix. Let's set the seasoning mix aside. Next, in a small mixing bowl, pour in the white vinegar, add in the bicarbonated soda, give everything a stir until it's completely dissolved. Set it aside. After that, let's prick the skin of the pork belly with a meat tenderizer. As you all already have known, this is to help puncture the skin to get the lard out so that it will help to fry the skin while it's roasting in the oven. Now, let's flip the pork belly over. You can also use the tip of a paring knife to prick the skin. Score the meat by giving it a shallow cut will do. Once it's done, sprinkle the seasoning mix that we've prepared early on all over. Then rub the seasoning thoroughly onto the meat. Rub it in the gaps as well. You would want all the flavours from the seasoning mix to go into the meat. I'm nearly there, almost done. Flip the pork belly over again and pat dry the skin with a kitchen towel to make sure all excess moisture are being removed. Then brush the vinegar that we've prepared early on all over the skin. Make sure to brush it evenly. Next, let's sprinkle a good amount of salt all over the skin. For this salt bake method, I'm using Himalayan pink salt as it is less salty than the regular sea salt. After you've sprinkled the salt, just leave it onto it, there's no need to rub it in. After that, carefully pierce two metal skewers on both sides of the pork belly. Go ahead 
go in from the top corner. I'm using two hooks to hook on the metal skewer and hang the pork belly up to let it air dry for at least 12 hours. You can let the pork belly sit in the fridge if you leave in a warmer climate. So I shall see you guys later. Our pork belly is ready to be roasted in the oven, but before that, place it onto an aluminum foil. Not to worry if some of the salt has fallen off. Carefully remove the hooks and the skewers. Then wrap up the sides with the aluminum foil. The reason why I'm doing this is to save the roasting jus from the pork belly to mix in with my rice as it is so flavorful. You don't really need to wrap the pork belly if you find it too cumbersome. After that, place the pork belly onto a roasting rack. Sprinkle a thin layer of salt onto the area that's not fully covered with the salt. Our pork belly is ready to be sticked in the oven for 50 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Our crispy pork belly is finally ready. Scrape just a tiny bit of the top layer of the skin with a paring knife. Brush off the salt. Okay, let's chop this bad boy up now. Before that, crunch test first. That should be a crunchy one. Perfectly roasted, still succulent inside. I'm chopping from the top to show you guys how crunchy the skin is. Otherwise, it's a lot easier to chop it from the sides. Crunchy outside, juicy and tender inside. That's a perfect layer of fat and lean meat. Guys, I hope I've made this video enjoyable to watch. If yes, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until next week, let me have a try on these crunchy siu yolk. This is what I'm talking about. The skin has puffed up nicely. When you bite on it, it melts like a wafer in your mouth and no gooey bits stuck onto your teeth.
Mm. This is so crispy, guys. So delicious. So, so crispy. Bye-bye, guys.